Hello guys, hello designers. Today I'm very excited uh, to share a very important piece of information I've learned today, specifically how to use AI, which stands for artificial intelligence, to help you with your spoon flower management. I will definitely explore this further, but what I tried today is I tried uh, to upload a design, which you see on your screen right now, and to Spoonflower, because I wanted to participate in a design challenge. And um, you know the drill, you've seen my video, so I uploaded the, the design, um, I set uh, the, the size and amount, which is pretty uh, easy, and then I went into the marketing and marketing and selling section. And as usual, this is where I uh, don't like spending my time. I prefer creating illustrations, but you need to put together a nice description, um, which is maximum 150 characters. I can never do it 150. It's whether not enough or too much. And then also add additional details. And I don't like working with words. As I said, I prefer to draw on my iPad. And this is where you can use artificial intelligence pretty easily. And I will explain how to do so. So basically what I've done, I went to chat GPT and I'll show you how I've done it so that um, AI can help me generate the description and additional details associated with the sprint in literally 30 seconds. And I didn't stop there. I also asked artificial intelligence to generate me a set of tags associated with design. And I can tell you it is so much easier. So let me show you how I've done it. Okay, so what do you need, what you need to do to use um, ChatGPT, artificial intelligence? You need to go to an open AI, um, open AI, if you see here, .com. Um, they will ask you to register, which is a simple registration, um, I think three, four step. They will ask you for your name, date of birth, email address, and you will need to verify your email. And as soon as you verify your email, you can then go and start using ChatGPT, right? So all you need to do is send a message. It's like you're using any, any other chat when you're shopping or you're looking for something online, etc. Any information you ask here, um, the artificial intelligence gener generates you the answer. So what this is all about, I am um, trying to uh, enter um, a design challenge on Spoonflower. Let me show you which one, design challenge, okay? So I went to here and I want to enter a design challenge that is called Buttercups Home decor design challenge right so i'm just gonna uh, copy this actually inspiration okay in the buttercup i'm just going to ask the chat gpt the following so what do i need i need to do first i need to come up with a description of a print inspired by buttercup in what do they say in maximum 150 characters, right? So I'll tell you what I did first. Um, please, because I'm a nice person, give me um, this, a description of a print inspired by, and then I copy by Buttercup, Buttercups. Right. If you're going to stop here, you will get a description, um, half a, half a page description. But what is Spoonflower after is in maximum of 150 characters, not words, but characters. I did this mistake. Okay. Are you ready? So I'm sending this message, and that's what the AI is returning to me. Why print yellow petals? Dance, kissed by sunlight in a whimsical print, capturing the delicate charm of buttercups. Too whimsical for me. Um, so what we can do, we can challenge AI back. <laughs> can you imagine that? Can you make it uh, a more simple description? I don't know if you'll understand me. 
cheerful yellow buttercups bloom and a delightful print radiant, radi radiating natural joy. <laughs> Isn't it cool? I mean, you can always um, uh, continue refining this or you can delete, remove the 150 character um, ask in the first place and then AI will come up with a much uh, bigger ex uh, description and then you can pick and choose basically. You see, it's amazing. Now you can do exactly the same with additional details. Let's ask here, can you add additional description? Okay. Okay, so you can continue doing that and it will come up with amazing uh, text. So you don't have to spend um, a lot of time here. Now, the last one is tags. Tags, okay, so what we're going to do, can you generate 10 tags for this print? Okay, here you are. <laughs> um, I think um, this is going to change our life in the future. I'll continue exploring what else we can do with the help of AI, but it looks like we can do a lot, especially we can set aside those tasks that we are not enjoying doing here. For example, me working with words and description where I can be spending time generating these beautiful patterns. Okay, so let me know guys if this is the <clears throat> if you find that interesting, because I personally find it fascinating, and I will continue exploring that, and I will be posting more. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.